Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to bring you all another quick GA4 tip, uh, one that we use quite often here with our clients, which is um, creating a reverse path exploration or reverse path report. Uh, this is useful, let's say you've got a, an event, a conversion event, such as a form submit on your website, and you wanna see which pages are driving that form submit or which pages are driving users to that page that's driving that form submit and then being able to go backwards and see which pages are driving to those pages. So you get the full pathway report to see how a user is moving along your website and converting. Um, you can do this very easily within GA4 as long as you've got your conversion event set up. Um, so for this example, we're gonna use just a form submit. So this is just our, our, our small little site. We've got a form on the, on the contact us page. Uh, we've got a few other forms on the website and we wanna see which pages are driving the users to, um, to submit that form. So what we'll do is we'll open up GA4. We will go over here and click on the explore button on the left-hand side, which brings us to our explorations. Um, and I've got nothing in here right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click using the template gallery. I'm gonna click on path exploration. This is gonna open up the default just example path exploration, which is a standard forward facing path exploration. We want the reverse. We wanna start with our conversion event and work backwards. So what we're gonna do is click on the start over button here in the top right. And then on any, we're gonna select ending points. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna choose event name because we wanna do an event. You could do a, pat, a page if you wanted to. Let's say you've got like a thank you page and then you wanna see how people get to that thank you page. You could do it that way as well. Um, I'm going to click on form submit because that's a main conversion event here. And then as you can see, it, it already scaffolds that, scaffolds out uh, the ending point, which is our form submit. So that's our conversion event. And then one step backwards from that, which is for this right here, the event will be page view. I want to see the actual page that they're on. So I'm going to change this to page uh, path and screen class. So you see contact us. We have four users, keyword comparison, two users. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one more time. And then we're gonna see which, which pages drove people to the contact us. And then I could do the same thing with this one if I wanted to. And you can click on, keep on clicking on these to add additional steps to go further back and back. So that's how it's uh, very useful to see kind of the full tree. Now with this being a very small site, there's not a whole lot of information here, but if you were to use this on a much larger site, obviously this tree would be much larger and give you a lot more useful information. So this is um, one quick report and quick way to view um, kind of just the whole entire flow of a user to a specific conversion event. Hopefully that's, that's helpful. Um, and hopefully, uh, let me know if, uh, there's any other reports that you would like me to cover. I'll be, uh, keep on uh, creating these videos and post them soon. Thank you very much.